Hey there, everybody. Pet here, and welcome back to Pet Plays RimWorld 1.0. Shuttle bay's done. That's good. How are our ships down here doing? Are they both all fueled up the way they should be? They sure as heck are. Okay, so one of these is going to head back to the ship. And it's going to take with it a couple of dudes. Let's bring... Let's bring Gigi for her inside construction skills, and then we're going to bring one of the Thets. There you go. The most advanced form of Android conceivable. This tier is able to efficiently hold the consciousness of any AI uploaded on onto it with advanced locomotive abilities and manipulation. This Android vastly surpasses most humans. All right, up to the freaking ship you go. You know, we could take more Androids, actually. Um, we could take the da Damon Droid. Let's see. We'll take Alex Theo Gray as well. Come on. Get you up there. Now, I want uranium. So, let's pack in some uranium as well. Maybe some components, too. We're a little low on components up there in space. So, give me 104 of those. There you go. Give me... Eh, give me a few advanced components as well. Do you have uranium here? You should. But do you? Because it's... There, okay, it would be down here if you did, I think. I don't need to bring the poly, I don't think. We definitely don't need to bring a core. There's some healer serums up here. You know, we'll bring a couple to be safe. No. We don't seem to have any extra uranium to spare. Well, that's a little awkward. Bring some more plasteel. You could definitely bring that to the party. Hmm. Hawkward indeed. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and bring me more money. Because we're going to want more money. And then bring me a little bit of gold. Okay. That's a start. Yeah, it'll be a mobile. I don't care. The other one. Uh, let's see. Let's emigrate a few people out of Ragamuffin and into Fort Django. You know what? I think Shadow will have a fantastic time at Fort Django. What with all the new crafting stuff to do. Let's take... You know what? Senpai and Sylvia? We, whoop. Senpai and Sylvia. We can move the two of you to Fort Django, I think. We have a... I know we have a couple of double beds over there. So you should be fine. How can I miss you with that freaking animal fur headdress you have going on? I think we'll keep everyone else here for now. And drop you off later. We're not going to emigrate any animals at this time. Well, actually, Irene, Vasilla, Senpai, you know what? Yeah, take, take your puppers. Vasilla, KD... Pepsi, Van Howe, Alex Theo Gray. Wait. Bonded to Pepsi. Dezid. Vulpy. Dezid. Vulpy. Dezid. Vulpy. Pepsi. Okay. Nothing to worry about there. Bring all those over. Maybe bring some materials over as well. Um, yeah, bring all the magnetic coils, computer components. All of that stuff. Could be more useful over there. Mm. We have uranium. We have 21... Alright, bring some uranium fuel pods over there, I guess. Maybe not all of them, though. Yeah, keep a few here. I didn't know we had fuel pods here in Ragamuffin. We have a lot of them, though. Alright, then. Lesson learned. I think that's probably it for now. Uh, you know what? Bring this really nice beta poly table over there. That'll be good. All right. HC1 shield. Let's bring that over. And the speed skin suits. Bring those over. And then maybe a bit of new clothing for the boys over there. Load them up. Get ready to send them out. 
good times will be had, at least in theory. All right. So we'll have some new new ragamuffinots over here in space. And we'll have some people emigrating out of Ragamuffin City. That's cool. The plan is coming together. The only... I mean, we're going to lose a lot of food, potentially. But I think that's going to be okay. I mean, we're probably going to have to have a caravan that is just the slurry peds. There's another. There's a second slurry ped 69. Nice. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't even know that was a possibility. All right. I just got to make sure I don't get these mixed up. The one with Alex, Gigi, and Thet15 is going to the ship. The one with Senpai, Sylvia, and Shadow are going to Fort Django. That should be easy enough, you know? Should be. All right. We might have to do one just for the Flommels, too. I don't know about that, though. I don't know. Are we still in the age of needing a bunch of Flommels? Maybe. Maybe not. Who even knows? I don't. I just pretend to. But I pretend to know a lot. Okay. We're not... We're not doing too much up here now. We're plenty breathable and the temperature's okay in all this area. Uh, you know what? Let's put that master plan to work real quick. Let's cut down this piece of hull. And get it replaced with an airlock. There we go. Just do that immediately. Yeah, I did turn this section to a vacuum, but we're fine. Big T is going to make this happen. Done. All right. Beautiful. So now with that done, we have two segments over here that we could start growing. So I'm going to start. I'm thinking we're going to go like 19... 19 and then just connect them together and then the question is is this going to be two separate rooms or what I don't know about that yet but what I do know is that we're going to want to keep some spaces open for airlocks so how do we want to do that I think We'll go ahead and actually cut... Oh, I just realized those are not equidistant. Now I want to fix it, because of course I do. Because I'm that kind of boy. Okay. Fix that. Because I'm going to go ahead and do... Open this spot. Open this spot. There'll be airlocks there and there. And then maybe airlocks... Here and... Here. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what I think about having to plan the airlocks this far ahead, but I think we can work with it. Okay. There we go. We're just gonna go ahead and have Big T build everything back up. I'm sure we wasted a few resources, but we'll be fine. Ultimately, we'll be fine. Who needs treatment? Zebra? Flu? Probably. Alright. I still want you to work on this, though. Big T. Okay, we need to get rid of that vacuum. One of the pods is done. It is the space pod. That didn't take long. Give me a little bit, guys. I want to get this tightened back up first. But once that's done, we'll be good to go. So if we're going to do that, I guess I'm just going to... This skip isn't storing anything anyway, so getting rid of it doesn't hurt anything. Alright. Cool. Build the hall. And then build the airlock. Alright. Perfection. And then go ahead and deconstruct this. Because it's just kind of in the way. Alright. Ship is put back together. Launch. Welcome to space, my brothers. 
Okay. So all the areas where we left a hole, that's where airlocks will go. That's how you plan it ahead to make sure that we're all going to be still looking swood. Swood and savvy. All right, I don't know if we have enough plasteel to finish this off, but we were bringing some plasteel now, so we should be fine. Nice infused duster. Appreciate the support. All right, one thing we don't have any storage for is food, but again, that's something we can work on later. We'll probably want to have airlocks leading to this area, too. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know how we're cordoning this off yet. How many different rooms this is going to be and all that good stuff. I mean, we could... I mentioned this before. We could turn this place into a freezer area. And then... You know, turn the rest of this into something else, like turn these into beds, into bedrooms, I should say. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. What I do know though, is that we are, we are in space. Hello, Gigi, Alex Theo Gray, and myself. Ooh, you even brought some taters. Thanks. What you think, Gigi? Think you're hungry, apparently. All right. Recreation fully satisfied. Space. Ooh. So empty. So big. She's scared of space. Is it the pessimist? Is it the pessimist in you? Note to self. Don't put her in an Eva suit. She will not like it. Um, area. Stay on the inside ship track, please. All right, note to self, not everyone loves space. Apparently, you know, a couple of us do, a couple of us don't. I guess that just makes sense, doesn't it? Anyway, we also have to work on the temperature around these other areas too, but now that we have another FET here, we have even faster production, faster construction. Yeah, definitely. That 15 does construction, too. Don't get it twisted. Definitely needs to help out around the house. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we section this spot off and turn it into our a dedicated growing area. And then this can be our food storage. And then this can be our kitchen. And then this could end up being our dining room, even. You know, we won't separate it. We won't separate any of this area off. But I think that could work. That's a long-term thing. And then, of course, food or sleeping areas north and, and or south. Haven't decided those yet, but that's kind of what I'm looking at. All righty. And then maybe a new recreation zone? I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead, okay? Besides that, we're still scanning. How's this one? Almost ready to go. Just waiting on a few more fuel pods. Actually, you know what? Frick the fuel pods. Let's launch it. Having fuel pods there will be a good thing in case they need to come back. Okay. In case we need to send a pod back, I should say. Alright, guys. Nice having you here at Ragamuffin. Also nice to see us spreading around. We got seven dudes up in space. Some of them are robots. Some of them aren't. And there they go. Ragamuffin City is officially shrunk just a little bit. It's happening, lads. We're moving from our old home to our new one. All 
All right. Well, it's a new ones, I should say. Yeah, and having more people out here to help with this is amazing. Uh, Alex Theo Gray, what do you help with? Plant cut, growing, smithing, tailoring, crafting. You don't help with construction, but you do help haul. Which I guess works. Although I could get you better construction. Yo, connect them to the... He's already connected to the sky mind. Alex Theo Gray. Congratulations. You can construct... You can't construct. Okay. Congratulations. Uh, you can cook a little better. We'll start with that. All right. Wow, that was a terrible landing. But anyway. Welcome to your new spot, my boys. All right. Thanks for the stuff. Go ahead and put this right here. Maybe I should ship this up actually you know to the ship because it's beautiful right oh yeah it's got a lot of beauty it could make the ship look that much better if we went ahead and just put it up here so maybe we'll do that maybe maybe I haven't decided yet but that's kind of a theme isn't it uh, let's go ahead and reinstall these lights in opposite corners here that'll just make us some room where we can put tables down Yeah, I think I like the plan that I am coming up with here. My problem is how do I freeze this section? A panther is hunting a fission mouse for food. I mean, I don't know how much I care about that, to be honest with you. Alright, I don't know if that's that big of a deal. Anyway. Stuff's moving around. It's pretty great. Senpai and Sylvia. Say hello to your new bed. Alright. Senpai. Sylvia. Of course, since uh, Shadow is single, he can sleep wherever he wants, honestly. Either way, welcome to a new land. Gotta wait for that cargo shuttle to get fueled up, but once it is, we'll go ahead and load it up with some uranium. Which we actually have some here. And get that, get that stuff in space. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful. So now we should have... Actually, we only filled up one bed. And it's going to take a while because Gigi has to get rid of the... Get used to the zero Gs here, of course, too. Which, I guess since she's a pessimist, we're going to have to... We're going to have to just hope things go well. First, what are your positive moves? Unbelievably impressive rec room and dining room. Okay, yeah, we have some good moods in here. The only thing he doesn't like is that he's stuck indoors, but I mean... There is no fresh air, my dude. This would be a great thing for undergrounders, oddly enough. Oh, I'm sorry. Poor panther, did we light you on fire? It's what you get. Alright. Beautiful. Let's do the flooring next. I keep going the floors, because, you know, that's where you expect the flooring to be. Oh, wait, it's not all done yet. we got to wait for this one spot. Get on, Fat15. You slowpoke. There it is. Okay. Yeah. 108... 108, or that 216, and then 154, yeah, bringing along the extra plasteel was probably a good move. We did bring extra plasteel, right? I could have sworn we brought extra plasteel, because this is the, we do not have enough plasteel to finish this room, oh boy. That's okay, we fueled this sucker back up, we can go ahead and send it down. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Can I just accept that we can't send an empty transport pod? Don't tell me what I can and can't do. Alright. Wait, no, don't load! Oh! Get out of there, Trillium. Damn it. 
I wasn't meant to actually send you. Okay. Try that again. Send the empty pod back to Ragamuffin. There we go. Obviously what we're looking at here is the need for a second shuttle bay. I guess if we did that, we could turn this room into the freezer. Because the freezer probably doesn't have to be that big. And in fact, we have a solution built in already, don't we? The answer is yes, we do. Because we have refrigerators. We could just turn it all into refrigerators. Yeah. Of course we can. Okay, okay. Easy rares. So we'll move the shuttle bay. We'll probably turn this area into a shuttle bay, this into a bedroom, and then this into a growing zone. I think that's what we're gonna do. For now, at least. Obviously, it's all subject to change. Based on how life goes, but... That's what I'm liking right now. Alright, we fueled up down here. We fueled up down here. Alright. Launch the ship. Anyone else need to go into space? Uh, Senpai and Sylvia just got here. Credmo, Honey, Shadow... Birch... Dirk? No. No, I don't think anyone here needs to go into space. I did think about sending Bronze Farmland a couple times, but I think I'm gonna not do that for now. So we're just gonna send stuff. Good old stuff. Send, uh, send them some more uranium fuel pods. We're gonna need them. Send a bit more compounds, a bit more advanced compounds, and then what we really need, two things. Plasteel. We'll send 545. That should be able to finish that off. And then... You know what? Send 500 uranium, because we'll never need that much. And then give me an extra one on front of the plasteel. Send that. That would be a good haul. Okay. But yeah, having two shuttle bays will actually just increase our ability to get whatever we need done. In fact, we could put probably put three up here. One that's always full, always has a cargo shuttle in it, and two that are for trading. And we could probably use a comm system in here too. Now that I think about it, transport pods have arrived. Transport pods have arrived. Here it is. It's pretty great. Move it over here. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, we're not getting anything done until the Plasteel gets in there, but that's fine. Is what is, and all that is, you know? The main, the only problem I have... Uh, hmm. Wait. Couldn't I just turn one of these into a radiator spot? I'm wondering if that might be the solution. Because then we could... Yeah, I think that's supposed to be the solution. Because then you can use that to drop the temperature. Okay. I think I had that twisted. And I know you're not supposed to do that. You don't have to tell me. But I can rip out one of the wall segments, replace it with a radiator segment and then freeze this room, and then we can put regular storage barrels in there, which is the preferred storage method for raw food. I guess what I could also do is turn this into the hydroponics area, and then turn this into the shuttle area. I might do that instead. I think I like that idea a little bit better. Even if it might not look as clean... So if I were to do that, I would end up... 
Yeah, I would put an airlock here. And you know what? I can actually delete this so we don't have to double build in that section. Put an airlock here as well. And then we just connect all the way across. And bada bing, bada boom, we have some room. You know? In fact, I could go ahead and hit the cancel button and just cancel all this. Since we have the idea of the room planned out now. That's really all you need. Just build all the way across here. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom, boom, boom. We're ready to go and we're gonna zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, temperature's still really cold in here, but I think that's... It is what it is. As long as the temperature in this area is fine for now, we are probably good for the long term. Or at least the short term. Or some term, okay? I haven't decided. We could also transform this into the storage area. That might even make even more sense. I know, guys, the plan keeps changing, but... Yeah, I like this idea. Store... Drop... Shuttles come in here. Pick up cargo. Can drop in here. This will be where the plants go. This is where... Yeah, I, th I like that a little bit better, I think. I think. Yeah, I think that'll work perfectly. Given the size of this room. Okay, okay. Pinky and Birch are getting married. We're gonna celebrate in the room full of rocks. Great. Well, it's, it's good. It's fine. It's fine and good. It's fine. It's good. And it's good. It's fine. Major confusion. Don't like it, but you gotta live with it. Urist over here, um, doing nothing for nobody. It's pretty great. Yeah, Gigi's probably gonna be stuck in bed until she's used to the whole zero G thing. That's normal. It's fine. Guys, you see, big dog's feeling pretty good. His limbs have not completely grown yet, but they're almost done. Alright. So at least that room is almost finished. Uh, problem with... Oh, no, no, there's no problem here. What am I talking about? We got freaking... Bots. We got hauling bots. I got nothing to worry about. This place could use some construction bots at this point, but that's... That's a story for another day. I'll pretend. So I'm gonna move this up here. And the recreation area can stay down at the bottom for now. There we go. I'm just gonna move the food up here to get this prepped to be a dining area. I think that'll be pretty good. This place will be, of course, our kitchen. And then eventually all of our storage will be up here. Get onto that ship, my dude. Aletta's been calmed down by chicken. Oh, I forgot to put this in there. Whoops. Oh, well. Always later. Well, there's Birch. There's Pinky. There's our dudes. Happy marriage to Pinky and Birch. Hope you all have a good life together. I'm sure Big Dog's not upset at all. He's in spice after all. So screw you. Screw all of you. Is this a, considered a separate map? I assume it is. 488 wealth. Alright. 488k to be specific. Uh, 4 million. Okay, in for Django, that makes sense. 1.6 million in microton. 1.9 in ragamuffin. Yeah, it all makes sense. It definitely makes sense that the wealthier place is for Django, obviously. All right, got all those moved in with no problem. Took barely a sec. And we'll have the other one over here, and you can decide. Do you want to eat at the YouTube table, or do you want to eat at the pretty shiny table? 
I mean, that that's what all of life boils down to, really. Let's be real. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays RimWorld. 1.0. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more because it's going to keep coming and won't stop coming. Until next time, this is that playing some RimWorld 1.0. Our shuttle is landed. Bada bing, bada bang. And I will see you in the next video.